Instruction number two. What is salvation? Salvation is a promise made by God that you would find your way to him at last. It cannot but be kept. It guarantees that time will have an end and all the thoughts that have been born in time will end as well. God's word is given every mind which thinks that it has separate thoughts and will replace these thoughts of conflict with the thought of peace. The thought of peace was given to God's Son the instant that his mind had thought of war. There was no need for such a thought before, for peace was given without opposite, and merely was. But when the mind is split, there is a need of healing. So the thought that has the power to heal the split became a part of every fragment of the mind that still was one, but failed to recognize its oneness. Now it did not know itself, and thought its own identity, capital I, identity, was lost. Salvation is undoing, in the sense that it does nothing, failing to support the world of dreams and malice. Thus it lets illusions go. By not supporting them, it merely lets them quietly go down to dust. And what they hid is now revealed, an altar to the holy name of God, whereon his word is written, with the gifts of your forgiveness laid before it, and the memory of God not far behind. Let us come daily to this holy place and spend a while together. Here we share our final dream. It is a dream in which there is no sorrow, for it holds a hint of all the glory given us by God. The grass is pushing through the soil. The trees are budding now. And birds have come to live within their branches. Earth is being born again in new perspective. Night has gone, and we have come together in the light. From here, we give salvation to the world. For it is here salvation was received. The song of our rejoicing is the call to all the world that freedom is returned, that time is almost over, and God's Son has but an instant more to wait until His Father is remembered. Dreams are done. Eternity has shined away the world, and only heaven now exists at all.